Dear people, it's great to be in the studio again. And today, I'll be painting these fantastic projects for your entertainment. I like to refer to them as affirmation art. And basically, they just help develop a positive frame of mind. They'd make a really great present or be equally as good hanging above your desk or anywhere that you might like to put them. And apart from brushes, and a canvas panel. I'll also be using some acrylic paint and I'm using the 12 piece Montmartre acrylic paint set. And my new favorite studio accessory, the Montmartre paint pot palette. And this is fantastic because it has seven lift out pots. So let's get some positivity into us and let's get creating. The first step is to print out your PDF. And I think we'll do the butterfly one first. Now this is a fairly simple sort of drawing, so I think that we can transfer it directly. And the idea is not to do it the identical way that I have done it. Just get it down really quickly and use your intuitive nature to do it. So let's draw it up with pencil. I'm using a 2H pencil from a Montmartre drawing set to mark this up. And the reason I'm using the 2H is because it is the hardest lead of all the pencils and as such lays down the least amount of graphite powder. So when we lay the translucent base coat over the top of the drawing, the paint won't be contaminated with too much loose graphite powder. Oh, and that's Monica's interpretation of Montmartre Joe in cartoon clay riding a horse. So our background is drawn up and now it's time to block in the background. And for that, I'm going to use a nice primary yellow for no other reason because I love the color and I think it's very butterfly-ish. So I'm going to put it out in my yellow pot. So squeeze it out. And let's paint it on. And to paint it on, I'm going to use, oh, it's in my other pocket. I'm going to use a number two gesso brush. So let's get this on. I'm using the Montmartre acrylic paints in the set. And there's enough here for both paintings. I'm using a number two gesso brush and it works very well for this purpose. Sometimes it's good to experiment with art materials or anything really. I once did a painting with a spoon. So we're going to paint this live now and we're going to use vermilion and I'm going to put it in with the number two filbert. In the Montmartre acrylic 12 piece set, there is a crimson red also, but I think vermilion will work better with that yellow because it's quite a warm red. Acrylic paint is such a great medium due to how it dries so quickly. So you can lay it on thick. Now let's fill in that lettering. This is loosely based on a font style called rope and it's really fun and easy. Let's paint in our butterfly now and please feel free to use whatever colors you like. In fact, I implore you to make this on your own. You might like to make the background orange and the butterfly a lime color. That would be great too. In fact, the color combinations are infinite when you take into account the plethora of colors you can mix from this set. Now I squeeze out the black and add water in equal proportions so it flows nicely. With this I lay in the key lines and the detail of the butterfly. I realised when I was adding the black that the ultramarine was dark and was being lost. So I went over the top of this with some cobalt blue. That type of thing happens and you have to remain flexible. That blue looks a lot nicer, I think. So moving down, we can now add the key line in our wording. I now add the spots to my butterfly's wings. I use the end of the handle of the brush to pop in these spots. It's a great way to lay a series of consistent dots in. Now I move on to the other wing and I think my butterfly looks pretty. Well, that turned out great. So 
let's do another one, shall we? So I set up my next panel onto the easel. Now, if you haven't used these Montmartre panels before, they are a stiff board with a medium grade canvas over the top. That is primed and ready to go. I really like them and as well as being affordable, they are very transportable. So I take the PDF of the Smile project and start to mark it up. I draw the smiling mouth first because it is in the middle and then move on to the wording up the top. This font is called Bubble and I think it's cute. The M actually looks like it's smiling. I then lay on a watery mix of cobalt blue. I use the number two gesso brush again to lay this in. To ensure the background is nice and smooth, we lay it on a flat undercoat on any areas. That will be lighter and we do this with titanium white. I'm using a number 12 angle to lay this in. Paint in the mouth while you're at it as well. Once the white is dry, I lay some lemon yellow over the top with the angle brush. I love this particular brush due to its versatility. Now I lay on some vermilion onto those lips. This scheme works very well as it is red, yellow and blue and these are three primary colours. Then I dip the number two filbert into the watery cobalt and lay in the teeth. Next I lay the black over the key lines. This brings it all together and gives it a more polished look. I then lay in the writing at the bottom of the canvas. Keep the brush charged with paint and only use the tip. Finally, I add a couple of highlights to the lips, a dollop on the teeth, and that should look like a glint. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. These type of projects are always fun. If you did like this, then come over to Montmartre TV if you're not there now because we have more fun lessons over there and you can find them at www.montmartre.net. We've also got our blogs and our Facebook and if you'd like you could join that as well. That'd be great because then we can talk to one another. And if you're not already a member then you can join our family. I'm talking about our family feed. And if you subscribe to that, then you get a project that's uploaded every week. And it's a real fun family type of thing there, as well as lots of other goodies. So, until next time, remember to keep on painting. See you next time.